Some dangers choke you without warning, some hide beneath frozen lakes, and others wait silently under the waves. In this fifth episode, we explore 10 safety symbols that protect us from asphyxiation, ice, electricity, and the hidden perils of water. These aren't just signs, they are lifelines forged in tragedy. Asphyxiating Atmosphere Sign A man kneeling, surrounded by dots, a silent symbol of suffocation. This warning is found in tunnels, tanks, and confined spaces, where oxygen is displaced by invisible gases. In 1978 Los Angeles, five workers entered a chemical tank filled with nitrogen. None of them made it out alive. They suffocated in minutes. The OSHA confined space standard and European safety bodies later mandated this sign. Nitrogen makes up 78% of the air we breathe, yet in a closed room, too much of it kills without smell, color, or warning. Arc flash sign. A jagged bolt of electricity inside a triangle warns of one of industry's most violent killers, the arc flash. It happens when high-voltage current explodes through the air. In 2004, Arizona, an arc flash at a semiconductor plant injured 11 workers, burning skin and lungs in milliseconds. The National Fire Protection Association, NFPA, introduced strict standards and mandated this warning worldwide. Arc flashes can reach 20,000 degrees Celsius, hotter than the surface of the sun, and throw molten metal across a room. Thin ice sign, a stick figure crashing through cracks, a chilling message on lakes and rivers. Every winter, children and thrill-seekers die chasing fun on frozen lakes. In Minnesota, 2010, three teenagers drowned after their snowmobiles broke through thin ice. Park authorities across North America, Russia, and Scandinavia made this sign mandatory. Ice must be at least 12 centimeters thick to safely walk on but snow cover can hide its weakness, luring people into death traps. But how do you know if ice is thick or thin? Clear blue ice is usually the strongest, while white, cloudy ice filled with air bubbles is weak and dangerous. And the only sure way is to measure at least 12 centimeters thick for safe walking. Anything less is a death trap waiting to break beneath your feet. Slipway sign. A boat sliding down a ramp, a human figure in danger. This sign is found at harbors and boat launches, in 2016, the UK, a fisherman was crushed when a vessel slipped off its cradle during launch. The UK Maritime and Coast Guard Agency enforces this symbol to warn of the double danger, heavy boats and slippery algae-coated ramps. Slipways are so slick with algae that they can be as slippery as ice. One misstep can throw you under a moving boat. Toad Water Activity Area Sign A Figure Pulled Behind a Boat Seen Near Water Skiing and Wakeboarding Zones In Florida, 2013, three teenagers were flung from an inflatable tube and struck by a boat. One died, two were critically injured. The U.S. Coast Guard and EU maritime agencies issued this sign for coastal resorts and lakes. A towed watercraft can reach 90 km per h, 55 miles per hour, the same as highway traffic but on unstable waves. Surf craft area sign, a surfer riding waves, warning swimmers to stay away. In Australia, 2015, dozens of swimmers were hospitalized after collisions with surfboards in designated surf zones. Surf Life Saving Australia and coastal governments made this sign compulsory. A surfboard striking the head with wave force can hit like a hammer. Many drownings start with a knockout blow. Deep water sign, a figure diving downward, swallowed by the abyss. Found at pools, lakes, and coasts. In Bangladesh, 2017, devastating floods drowned over 140 people in deep, fast-moving water. Many stepped in unknowingly. Municipalities worldwide mandate this sign in swimming areas. It takes less than 60 seconds for a person to drown in deep water, even if they are a strong swimmer. But how can you tell if water is deep? Its dark blue or green color often signals greater depth, while shallow water looks lighter and clearer. Markers, buoys, and warning signs also reveal hidden drop-offs. Yet appearances can deceive. The water that looks safe from the surface may plunge into depths that take you down in seconds. Shallow water, diving sign, a diver striking the bottom, found on poolsides and beaches. Every year in the U.S., 800-plus spinal cord injuries come from diving into shallow water. Most victims are teenagers, paralyzed for life in seconds. The American Red Cross and global pool safety groups enforced this warning. Diving into just one meter of water at speed is like smashing headfirst into concrete. 
Submerged object sign, a swimmer colliding with rocks hidden below, seen at rivers, lakes, and cliffs. In Hawaii 2019, tourists cliff jumped into what they thought was deep water, but rocks lay just beneath. Several were paralyzed on impact. National parks and coastal authorities made this warning mandatory. Water can hide objects deceptively. What looks deep is often only a meter, and the illusion kills. Imagine standing on a cliff, staring down into crystal clear water. It looks deep, safe. You jump, and in a split second you slam into hidden rocks just below the surface. This is why we avoid submerged objects. Only swim or dive in designated safe zones. Always check depth with a pole or by wading in slowly. Never trust water clarity. What looks like a safe plunge can be a trap waiting to shatter bone. The sign isn't just a warning. It's the difference between a thrill and a tragedy. Sudden drop in swimming or leisure pool sign. A figure plunging into the unknown, found in pools, leisure lakes, and artificial quarries. In 2012 New Jersey, two children drowned after stepping off an unseen underwater ledge in a lake. Leisure centers and EU regulators adopted this sign to mark dangerous drop-offs. A sudden depth change causes panic. Disoriented swimmers inhale water, drowning not from exhaustion, but from shock. Every warning sign tells a story of lives lost, lessons learned, and dangers that still surround us today. From invisible gases that choke without a sound, to thin ice that shatters beneath your feet, and deep waters that hide their depth. These signs aren't just symbols, they are shields, protecting us every single day. If this episode opened your eyes, don't stop here. Go back and watch the earlier parts of Warning Signs to uncover the dangers you've already walked past, and stay tuned for Part 6, where we'll dive into 10 more warnings with histories just as dark and powerful. Hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell, so you never miss the stories that could one day save your life.